Okay, here we go. This is Sam Pollock. I'm showing off my final exam project for Game 2005, Game Physics. And what better place to start than showing program in action. Uh, I'm in the play scene here. I'll go back. Backspace key, it'll take you back to the main menu scene. Once you're in there, press start, and you're in. I'll show, first of all, we got jumping. And you can jump onto platforms. These are static platforms. And then we have shooting. You'll notice they're not spheres anymore. They're cubes. And they'll bounce off other cubes in the scene. Now, let's take a Oh, actually, I can also push them with my body. Okay, now let's take a look at the code that makes it all run. Okay, so start you off by looking at the uh, the changes to rigid body. Um, so one of the critical ones was an easy one to change. Oh, sorry. Let's look at player behavior. To change the jump, uh, I, I, I switched the body velocity from equals equals transform up to plus equals transform up. Uh, that way you can preserve some horizontal momentum when you jump, which makes it possible to jump onto things instead of jumping just straight up. Uh, next up, look at the collision manager on how the block pushing was implemented. So down here in the uh, AABB collision check. I just have a simple uh, conditional here that <clears throat> that checks to make sure that the rigid body in question is dynamic. And if it is, when uh, another block pushes up against it, it will uh, change its its position according to the penetration. Uh, you'll see I had a more ambitious plan here, implementing some physics to get. Uh, bounciness and, and proper mass calculation looking for the pushing was experiencing a problem however getting it to factor in the penetration properly so instead of bouncing off at a reasonable speed it would repeat every frame of collision and you'd end up shooting away into space but I've left it here for posterity. Uh, next up I'll show off how the prefabs were handled so I've made an additional prefab here for the square bullet, which shares the bullet, uh, which shares some element of the bullet behavior script, which I've changed into the square bullet behavior, um, and I've added the cube component for it to prepare the collision checks. Now let's look at what's in that script. The square, no, not the square bullet behavior. Okay, and so you'll notice I've replaced the the radius check. Instead, we just have the basic movement for the bullet. Whereas here in the collision manager, we've got some additional check in the AABB collision, checking if if the uh, colliding game object in question is named square bullet clone. And if it is, um, I'm running this code, which reflects its its velocity according to which side of the uh, box it hits. Let's see. And I believe that takes care of the key aspects of this project. Uh, it'll be submitted through GitHub and on uh, and in Blackboard. Okay. Thanks for watching.